the items that was discovered hidden inside P. Diddy's house was a box of memory cards that had the Lil Rod tape on it. And this is exactly what they were looking for because this is the evidence that's going to lead back to the claims that were made by the new allegations on P. Diddy. And what they were doing was exactly trying to find evidence that would match up and corroborate with that and so now that they have been at his properties they went and found the tunnel that's underneath his house they searched his boats and inside the garages one thing you guys got to understand is that all these rich celebrities with the huge mansions and the extravagant real estate they all have storage rooms and this is where the fbi was targeting the most because they knew that diddy he liked to keep the tapes with him he liked to like they never deleted anything and so they knew that there was some sort of storage excess of all of this evidence that he was trying to hide that he didn't want to throw in the dumpster or anything he couldn't take it out in the garbage because the fbi was already watching his every move they were confiscating his garbage looking through it finding any evidence that might actually add up to this if you guys are want to get justice for the victims of p diddy for little rod tupac biggie smalls kim porter go ahead and comment 222 like this video make sure you guys subscribe now it looks like there's going to be a few more days of them interrogating his family members you know that p diddy as soon as the he found out that the feds were coming to raid him he immediately left out of town left his kids his family and everything like that so his two sons are being interrogated and they're asking them if they had any type of knowledge of the events that were taking place inside of that that same mansion that they were staying inside of this is a bad look for p diddy because now he's got his kids thrown in on this and they have to answer to his like faults and everything like that it's not fair that p diddy's kids have to go through this because of his own actions and he left them and the feds knocked on their door and they're the ones who answered the door and so it looks like um Diddy's mule was captured he had a person that was running all of the stuff every time that they try to get somebody you know like loopy or whatever when they were throwing them Diddy parties when they were trying to get Cassie and them to to um, basically be you know down and, and turned up they had that one guy that got caught the, they had the mule going back and forth between Colombia and Miami and he was bringing in a whole lot of stuff this is why they caught him up right away because the allegations say that Diddy he was using the mule guy and whatever they were bringing in to basically at the parties was to try to get everybody to be all out of control loopy and everything so they make bad decisions and so this there were these the things that Diddy was given to them the substances and this is what they ended up looking at Diddy's house to try to find because if they found the same pill the same type of mixture that was inside of the spiked drinks this was going to lead directly to the indictment this is what they were looking for because that's what cassie said was that he put something in the drink <clears throat> this is the same thing that kim porter said this is the same thing that little rod said and all of those parties the ace of spades bottles that he was caught dumping out and that's the same thing that kim porter had in her cup when they ultimately found her the toxicology report gave them the exact ingredients to what was found inside her cup and so this is the this was exactly what they were looking for in, in the house they went to his medicine cabinets they went to all the drawers and opened them and tried to look for any trace of that they swabbed the whole entire house so that they could find traces of the same substances that was used in the multiple victims that have came forward alleging that Diddy had did all of these things and so now as they're looking at it the district attorney is taking the case the DA and the US Marshals are working together with the FBI to pretty much put a, a case together for this because the victims families they have spoken they have come forward we listened to the press conference they said that Diddy he's on the run basically in that he's not allowed to uh, board on the planes they have him stuck in the islands he tried to leave he tried to flee the whole scene and everything like that and this is when they called in to his flight and told them to immediately land and now they're restricting his travel 
and this is a big thing because all of the people that Diddy had working for him that were making these runs that were getting these bottles that were spiking the drinks everybody that had anything to do with the whole entire setups and the Diddy parties they're actually being captured one by one the guys that would do all the street work for Diddy because Diddy wasn't no plug out in the streets so whoever Diddy's plug was that's the guy that they got caught up that's the guy that caught up and he was a basketball player from Syracuse and Diddy was basically formed a relationship with him back when Cassie went to Syracuse University when Diddy first met Cassie he he asked her where is your plug we're trying to find this and that we're trying to get this for this party they wanted to get the party favors they wanted to get lit and so that's when Diddy first met the guy that everybody calls his mule his his runner basically his driver right and so this what Diddy had this guy doing was going back and forth bringing all the pack bringing everything that he needed for those those all white parties for those freak offs and everything like that this was the main person who was bringing all that stuff in and you got to remember in the cassie uh, like, the lawsuit it explains that that this was the type of stuff that diddy was having them take and so now that they've got the mule guy he's not going to pretty much take the hit he's gonna throw diddy under the bus he doesn't want to have to do all the time because now that they're gonna blame all of the issues all of the stuff that happened after he brought the supplies to diddy they're gonna try to blame him for causing some of the things that happened to cassie causing some of the things that happened to the other victims but he's ultimately gonna tell on p diddy and cooperate with the investigation uh with, with the authorities the feder the feds and everybody once he cooperates He's going to give up incriminating information that's going to get P. Diddy indicted on more charges because the, we know that the guys that were working for Diddy, they don't want to go down for this. They don't want to be taking the whole blame on everything that happened and they know that it wasn't their idea to set these people up. Diddy was the person who ordered the things. Diddy was the one that made them go in on those drives and bring everything back it was for him and so because he was the guy that was paying everybody he's ultimately going to be the guy that everybody tells on because he organized and was the mastermind of this whole entire plan and plot and that's why that everything is happening to him is because that diddy's name is the one that's written in the indictments as the person who or like literally plan for everything to come together he was throwing the parties he's the guy that told the dude to come back and bring the things and then he put them in the drinks and so this is why the toxicology reports came back with the substances because diddy had ordered them from the guy and now that they've captured him they're going to pretty much ask him about the events of cassie the events that took place at the parties what exactly was he bringing to p diddy and it's all part of the raid and they had to find pretty much the phone numbers they went through the phone logs they went through the devices that p diddy had in storage and they found old phone numbers from people who were connected to the situation the guys that were pretty much around during the time that the allegations were brought forward they're going and, inv and interviewing them so that they could get both sides of the story because now that little rod and cassie and everybody has pretty much come after diddy this is all karma due to him having ties to pretty much the uh, the downfall of having something to do with Biggie getting hit up and Tupac getting hit up and Kim Porter. He, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of bodies. There's a lot of people that P. Diddy's responsible for taking down. And so now that they're getting the justice slowly but surely, he had to sell off everything, man. Before, he, he was losing brand deals. He was losing these businesses and that. But now he had to sell off 100% of his ownership in Revolt TV. This is serious. That means he's preparing for a, a sit-down. He's going to have to sit down for them seasons, guys. If you can't do the time, you shouldn't do the crime. And so now Diddy has to face the consequences for his actions. And it's going to look like he's going to have a multiple-year like indictment they're going to get him in for 10 years the fbi agent said that he's for sure going down uh for this and that they're not going to let him get away with anything any longer this is why they came at the moment that they came usually the feds they build up such a strong case and now that they have the 
the actual mule who is going to testify against Diddy. He's the person that's going to connect Diddy with the toxicology reports of Kim Porter, Cassie, and anybody who pretty much got checked out and put those reports out there. Because once Diddy had the complaints put in, they ran the test and found out that the same people who brought in the bottles were the same people who were working for Diddy the whole entire time. And he instructed them to give Cassie, to give Kim Porter these specific drinks and to pretty much try to sauce him up and turn him up in a way so that when he came and tried to do what he did, that people would pretty much fall for it and this is the thing that everybody had to look out for you really can't trust nobody even rich people diddy had millions of dollars billions of dollars and he still went and did what he did and so that's the reason why you can't trust everybody you got to keep your head on a swivel 